Imagine a childhood forged in violence, a teenage initiation into murder. Picture a rise to power not through brawn, but cunning, building a cocaine empire that choked Miami in the 70s and 80s. This is the story of Griselda Blanco, the Black Widow, a woman who became a queen pin, draped in diamonds but stained with blood. Her ruthless ambition carved a path through a world dominated by men. From Colombian slums to Miami mansions, she orchestrated assassinations, manipulated rivals, and built a network that spanned continents. Dive into the life of Griselda Blanco, a story etched in violence, ambition, and an insatiable hunger for power. Prepare to be shocked, intrigued, and maybe even a little horrified as we explore the rise and fall of the Black Widow. Chapter 1. A Childhood Forged in Steel. Cartagena, 1943. Hunger gnawed at Griselda, a child lost in the city's labyrinthine shadows. Poverty marked her like a brand, violence her lullaby. At 11, she allegedly took her first life, a chilling initiation into a world where mercy was a stranger. Medellin, shrouded in perpetual fog, became her training ground. She learned to steal, to manipulate, to survive. By 13, marriage to Carlos Trujillo seemed like freedom, but it was his muscle that fueled her ambitions. Together, they carved a niche in the city's underbelly, her ruthlessness earning her the chilling nickname La Viuda Negra, the Black Widow. Chapter 2. Miami Beckons. A Queen Emerges. The 1970s painted Miami in neon dreams. Cocaine fueled the party, and Griselda Blanco saw opportunity. Trujillo, conveniently eliminated, was replaced by Alberto Bravo, a facade for the queen pin operating beneath designer dresses and diamond smiles. Her network, the organization, thrived on her cunning. Women became couriers, their bodies concealing her illicit cargo. Miami's drug world trembled at her name, whispers of her brutality mingling with the scent of expensive perfume. Yet paranoia became her shadow, the DEA a persistent thorn in her side, and rivals whispered betrayal. Chapter 3, A Reign of Blood and Diamonds. By the 1980s, Griselda reigned supreme. Mansions, sports cars, and designer labels adorned her rise. Millions flowed through her veins, each dollar a stain on a city drowning in cocaine. But power is a volatile mistress. Trust eroded, replaced by suspicion and whispers. Bravo, once her partner, became a liability, discarded like a worn-out dress. A politician's demise, allegedly linked to her hand, painted her name in crimson headlines. The public, once charmed, now recoiled. The walls began to close in. Chapter 4. The net tightens, the empire crumbles. The DEA hunted relentlessly, their net slowly constricting. Internal betrayals fueled by fear and greed sliced at her organization. Shootouts became commonplace, Miami streets stained with the blood of her enemies and allies alike. Even her sons, caught in the crossfire, tasted the bitterness of her power. In 1985, the inevitable happened. Miami streets, once her playground, became the stage for her capture. The Black Widow, stripped of her diamonds and glamour, was caged. Chapter 5, Shadow Queen, Behind Bars. Prison walls couldn't contain Griselda's spirit. From her cell, she orchestrated murders, manipulated inmates, and maintained her grip on the outside world. She was a queen even in captivity, her ruthlessness undimmed. Yet, whispers of her deeds bled through the bars, tarnishing her image further. Years in confinement chipped away at her power. New players rose in the ever-shifting landscape of the drug trade. Chapter 6. Freedom, but a changed game. Released in 2004, Griselda stepped back into a Colombia transformed. The Medellin cartel, gone. Her influence, a fading echo. Undeterred, she attempted a comeback, but the game had changed. Younger, hungrier players held the reins. Colombia, weary of violence, watched with cautious eyes. Two years later, a hail of bullets in Medellin silenced the Black Widow forever. Her life, a brutal tapestry woven with ambition and blood, had reached its final violent climax. Chapter 7, The Legacy, Blood and Diamonds. Griselda Blanco remains a haunting enigma. A ruthless killer, a savvy businesswoman, a mother fiercely protective of her own, she defies easy labels. Her legacy, a bloodstained diamond, reflects the darkness that lurks within the human heart. Her story serves as a stark reminder of the seductive lure and devastating consequences of unchecked ambition. While her empire crumbled, her legend endures. A cautionary tale whispered in the shadows of Miami's neon dreams. Chapter 8. 
The making of a monster. Poverty, violence, and a lack of love. These were the seeds that sowed the darkness in Griselda Blanco. Early experiences marked by brutality and struggle hardened her heart, turning compassion into a stranger. Each act of violence, each manipulation, chipped away at her humanity, shaping her into the monster she became. Was she a product of her environment, or did she choose the path of darkness? The answer, perhaps, lies in the complex interplay of both, a chilling reminder of how nurture and nature can conspire to create a storm. Chapter 9, Beyond Glamour, The Cost of Power Griselda Blanco's life was a paradox. Ruthless queen, pin bathed in diamonds, yet haunted by paranoia and betrayal. Behind the facade of glamour lurked a constant fear of enemies, the DEA, and even her own inner circle. Power, it seemed, came at a steep price. Love, trust, and genuine connection were casualties in her reign, replaced by a chilling loneliness that only deepened with each passing year. Her story serves as a stark reminder that empires built on blood and fear are inherently unstable, destined to crumble under the weight of their own darkness. Chapter 10, Echoes of La Viuda, Negra. Griselda Blanco's death marked the end of an era, but her legacy continues to cast a long shadow. Whether romanticized by pop culture or reviled for her brutality, her story sparks debate and fuels curiosity. Did she empower women in a male-dominated field or exploit them for her own gain? Was she a shrewd businesswoman or a cold-blooded killer? Perhaps the answer lies somewhere in between, a complex individual shaped by a brutal world. Regardless of our interpretations, Griselda Blanco's life remains a chilling reminder of the human capacity for both immense ambition and devastating violence. A cautionary tale etched in blood and diamonds forever echoing in the annals of history. Was she a monster or a product of a brutal world? A shrewd businesswoman or a ruthless killer? Perhaps the answer lies not in absolutes, but in the complex tapestry of her life. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the life of the Black Widow. If you found this exploration thought-provoking, please consider subscribing for more stories that delve into the lives of individuals who have left an undeniable mark on our world.